Hello, hello, hello. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And on, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm going to be reading Revelation chapter 20 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And always pray before you read God's Holy Word or read any of the Apocrypha, which is the books removed from the Bible, or doing any research or studying. For the Holy Spirit is your teacher. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in our name, let's begin. And, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Sorry, I've read that twice. And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosened a little season. So, when Lord Jesus Christ comes back, and he, and he reigns on the new earth, Satan is going to be thrown into the bottomless pit, and be chained up for a thousand years. And I saw the thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given out, given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. There is going to be those during the great during the end of the great tribulation that are going to die for Christ, and they're going to, they're going to be beheaded because they chose Jesus Christ over the, over the things of this world, and even right now, and right now as we speak, there are people who are dying for Christ right now especially in North Korea and China, which in China, from what I've learned, Christianity and worshiping God and Lord Jesus Christ isn't so favored upon. Um, they go after house churches, and those that are true followers of Lord Jesus Christ that live in China, they get persecuted. They get beaten to death. They get thrown into slave camps, indoctrination camps, and some of them even have their... Um, their body parts, you know, harvested. So, yeah, there's a lot of horrible things. And in North K, North Korea, it is really bad. Christians, if they're found with, like, a Bible or anything, the whole family, like, five generations get all thrown into prison. The, the tortures that they go through is unbearable. You, 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 beyond your worst nightmares, what they're going through for, for Christ right now as we speak. And... It's just going to get harder and harder. And we're already in the tribulation since the Mark of the Beast has been out for three and a half years. The uh, Magic Ocean Potion. Take it up to the Lord in prayer and ask Him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Don't take my word for it. Take it, from, take it to God. Ask Him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And uh, read God's holy word. So, I leave you with that on, on that. So, yeah. And as times get harder, there are going to be those that are going to choose to die for Christ. And it's going to be very hard. It's not going to be something that, not going to be enjoyable to be taken up to the guillotine. <laughs> that word's not very favored here. And the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years so um, they didn't worship the beast they didn't worship the beast system uh, take that up to the Lord in prayer what the beast system is but uh, we're, the beast system is basically worshipping when you think about it worshipping the things of this world worshipping money worshipping the government putting your faith in the government and the, the world or materialistic possessions all the things of this world and choosing to worship that over God. Um, neither his image or neither his image or ne uh, so his image, you know, worship the image of the beast. You can take that to the Lord in prayer. What that is, um, the image of the beast from what I what I believe that the image of the beast is is the uh, the little Cadesis, um symbol with the snake around the pole and the little wings on it. The lying med field. 
but that's what I've believed and that, that's what I've been led to believe from God Almighty and His Holy Spirit. But take it all up to the Lord in prayer and uh, received his mark upon upon their, their he foreheads or in their hands. Now they're not meaning like a literal like mark, like like a, like, a, like a sticky mark or something like that. Uh, I've had a long conversation with Jesus about this. See, you know, animals get chipped. You know, they get little cookie chips put in them. You know, the chocolate chips um, for parrots, cats, dogs, and they're still God's creation, though. It was revealed to me that they're still God's creation after they had the chocolate chip, after they took the chocolate chip cookie, you know what I mean? Um, so they're still God's creation. I had found out one of my cats, which I did not know, had was given the chocolate chip cookie. Does that mean my cat Josette is no longer God's creation? No, she's still God's creation just because she took the chocolate chip cookie, you know what I mean? So that is not... It is the Magic Ocean Potion. I'll just say, call it the lead pen thing going into the arm. You know, the lead pen. Because, you know, the word is not welcomed here on, on this platform. But, so, why I believe it? Uh, there's, I, God has sent me a long, a long path since 2020. It started off in November of 2020 when God told me that if I took it, that I would not be a child of God anymore, and I would be long, no longer redeemable. That was number one. And number two was God had revealed to me that if you take it, it removes his signature, his name out of your DNA, Yahweh, and replaces it with Lucifer's name. And also, Lucifer is already his name's already in there, um, in the thing, and also already in it. And that I learned that one, the instant you take it you spiritually implode you have a little spot uh, uh, called a lantern also known as the pineal gland this is not new age at all where it's lit with the holy spirit fire with the holy spirit god's fire and it's lit with that and instantly once you take it it gets turns into darkness and how great is that darkness there's bible scripture in that you can look that up that of um it, how you know if it's lit you know it's it's great light, but if it's dark, how great is that darkness? It's not good. You, you do not want to take it. I've also have seen, since I do work with the public, that the public over the years have changed. They have gotten more colder, more crueler, and not nice. I've been working with the public for a long time now and dealing with them. And the truth is... They used to be more nicer back in the old days. They were getting cold, I will admit. There were some people that were nasty um, that I ran into. But it's so far worse in the, since 2021. It's just gotten worse. I would say in... I worked in 2020 and it wasn't... It was in public service, it wasn't that bad. People were nice. I got along with, my, with the employees and... and a good amount of people at that that place I worked at that time period, and but nowadays it's it just flipped it's flipped and it's they've gotten more crueler. There's a lot more thievery going on. There's less kindness amongst employees themselves as well. There's very much a cold cold coldness in people's hearts and people. There's more car accidents than I ever seen and I've. Just driving in my own area, I've see I've almost been just recently almost got in another accident. I was just driving down the road and someone tried to pull out of their driveway without looking, and I slammed on the brakes. And praise God, I was able to stop and not hit these people. But they decided to just fly out of their driveway without looking, and uh, yeah. And people are, are like driving more faster and more reckless than they ever had. And there's been so many car accidents. And now there's more and more of these crosses peering up on the sides of roads nowadays. I just passed one today, uh, coming home from the grocery store. And there was another cross, and it was on a, on a side street. You wouldn't think someone would die, would die there on a, on a back, small side street. But they did. This is, this is getting ridiculous. And I can see there are a lot of cars running up in the local junkyard. This is, uh, you know, 
the, the hearts of many have grown very, very cold. And nobody has any kindness or bedside manner for anybody anymore. Nobody really even cares. Like there was this video um, that I just recently saw where a woman was, was basically dying in the fire. And people just drove past her and wouldn't even help her. They wouldn't even give her a helping hand. It was horrific. It was a horrific, horrific video. And I couldn't believe how cold-hearted those two guys were in their car. They were videotaping it. And they're like, we can't help her. We can't help her. we got to get out of here. Like, it's just horrible. And it just shows you what type of, um, what type of world we're living in. It's not good. It is definitely not good at all. And it's just getting worse. And I can tell that the uh, people who have taken it, sometimes God has revealed his reveals to me that they're spiritually dead. I, I've stared and looked into these people's eyes, and their eyes are, like, dead. They're lifeless. There's nothing behind those eyes. They're like zombies walking around. And God has already revealed it to me in dreams, that, and especially in the last dream I had, Super Volcano, where these people are going to turn into zombies. And they're going to be not good. They're not going to be good. You can see why they're talking, always having this thing about zombies all the time. And I even see it on people's t-shirts, like, zombies hate fast food. This one guy was wearing the other day on a t-shirt. And I was like, yeah, everyone's always talking about zombie awareness and everything. There's a reason behind it, isn't there? Think about it. Just think about it. Take it all up to the Lord in prayer. I remember having to watch a uh, movie back when I think it was in high school about, um, about this guy trying to survive a zombie apocalypse in New York City. I can't remember the name of the video movie. It was so long ago, but I remember it was like some type of thing happened to all these people, like, and um, they all turned into zombies except for this one guy, and he was living in New York City, and it was bad. It was a real. It was bad. And why would the school be talking about zombie preparedness? Hmm. There's probably a reason for it, I guess, but. Take it all up to the Lord in prayer and ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, and they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Hallelujah, hallelujah, all praise and glory to God. Isn't it going to be great? We're going to be reigning with Christ. And, the, when, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out and deceive the nations which are on the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as, is as the sands of the sea. So there's going to be a great multitude of people now going to run, who are going to turn. They're going to be seeing Lord Jesus Christ reigning on earth and everything going on. But they're going to be deceived by Satan and choose to follow him and try to, and try to dethrone Lord Jesus Christ. Mm, things aren't going to be good. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. God's an all-consuming fire. <laughs> And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. And, um, yeah, he's going to be down there with the Antichrist, Obama, and, uh, Franciski, <laughs> ah, P-O-P-E, Franciski, <laughs> he's the false prophet. I can't really say his name. <laughs> so, <laughs> take it all up to the Lord in prayer and ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They're going to be enjoying their time down there. And I saw a great white throne in him that sat on it, and whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. Oh, those books are going to be opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. 
you want your name in the book of life. You don't want your name in the and not right, you know, raised from it. No, you want your name in the book of life. Because if your name's in the book of life, you get to go to heaven and be with Lord Jesus Christ forever. But if it's not, you I wouldn't want to be going to the gnashing and gashing tea place. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So they're cast into the lake of fire with, to be with, with Lucifer, the hater of all good for all eternity. Oh, they're going to not be enjoying themselves. These people, especially those that worship Lucifer, and I see them on a daily basis, and their numbers are growing. Uh, since I've worked in the public service for years, and, I've, and now I'm seeing more and more of them, it's very sad. And these people think they're worshiping the, the you know, worshiping the correct one, and that they're going to go to this paradise place called hell, and it's going to be full of fun and games, and everything's going to be great. They're going to be in a rude awakening when they get there. They're going to find out it's it's all the Lucifer had lied to him, like he like he lies. He lies like a rook, and he's they're going to see the truth of what they were worshiping, and what they worshipped is not going to be good. They're going to be down there in that pit, and they're going to be seeing pitchforks, burning worms, fire, gnashing and gashing of teeth. It's not going to be enjoyable, and it's very sad. But again, they have free will, and they freely chose to go that path and it's very 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 sad indeed but that was their choice and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire that's right that is right you don't want to go there you do not want to go there it's no place anyone wants to go and there are people who are fools that make fun of it and think that hell's a great place. There's like this teenage guy that was sitting on, on, it, on his desk. And he was like, I'm going to be some type of prince or something in hell. And, I, you know, we're going to have party and revelings all night. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And he was talking. He was joking and everything. He didn't even know what he was joking about. He had no clue. He, he, was, he was deceiving himself and those around him. And he's gonna wake up when wake up one day if he doesn't um, turn to Jesus and accept him as his Lord and Savior. He's gonna wake up someday on the day of judgment and not enjoy it. And it ain't gonna be good. You don't want to go there. You don't want to be in there. It's no place you want to be. It's full of gnashing and gashing of teeth. It's it's horrible. It's horrendous. It's a nightmare. It would, I would rather go through persecution and, 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 and destruction and, and torment here on this earth than forever eternal torment in the lake of fire. But it's your choice. You have free will. And it, it can get really tough, though, with persecution. You can check out the uh, movies they have on YouTube about the persecution of, you know, of Christian Chinese in China. They're, they're on, on YouTube. You, but you better have wash your eyes and ears and Lord Jesus Christ's blood before you watch them because they some of them are extremely tough and hard core to watch. I will promise you that. But I'll be back as the Lord leads and uh, keep looking up. Your redemption draws nigh.